This meeting is being recorded. Well, good morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you happen to be tuning in. Um, we are happy, excited to host our second <laughs> inaugural Leadership Live event. Um, we, we're going to have, it's about a 10 minute goal here today to just kind of do some high level overviews of uh, information that uh, folks are wanting. I'm Jean Reed. I'm the director of volunteer services here. Um, and this time our feedback was people were like, hey, what do you do? <laughs> so um, it, in very brief uh, terms, uh, I'm a paid professional here at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics as Director of Volunteer Services. I oversee um, the department. Our, our mission here is to improve the patient and family experience, and we do that through the support of human and financial resources. Um, so I oversee our retail operations, Wild Rose Gifts, um, Kaleidoscope gift shop, the fourth floor salon, uh, the rooftop cafe. We do other fundraisers here. Um, and then uh, those, those monies are distributed um, across the house for patient family programs. And then the HR piece. So all of the volunteers, uh, all of the, I, a lot of times talk about, think of us as the uh, HR department for the unpaid team at the hospital. Um, so lots of different pieces to, to both of those roles, but that's a quick snapshot. And I'm Jelna Kloss. I'm also a paid staff member here. I'm the assistant director for volunteer services. Uh, my primary role is to work with the volunteers and do the HR piece. So the compliance is onboarding. Um, I'm the contact person along with a few other staff members here. Um, I'm also involved with the applications for the request for funding that are distributed throughout the hospital that Jean talked about for that financial piece. So volunteer recognition. That's another piece in, in yeah. transition, but big piece yeah. of what we do here. Yeah. Probably uh, the best uh, part of my position. <laughs> um, I'm Grant Welk, so I'm not a paid staff member. Um, I'm a student at the University of Iowa, um, and I'm part of the student volunteer program here. And I serve as the current chair for the student leader board, um, which is kind of the over overseeing um, board for all the student volunteers at the hospital. Um, so I help to, to manage the, the student volunteer program and um, try, to, try to implement new ideas to make it better. So the highest leadership position in our best practice program. Woo woo, Grant. <laughs> can everyone see that? Yep, I can see it. So yeah, today I wanted to talk a little bit, um, I guess, about kind of more information about the volunteer program and just kind of my own path uh, through the volunteer program here um, and, and really talk about leadership and, and growth opportunities throughout the program. Um, so this is our student leader board here. Um, and this is kind of that, that overseeing board that they're working with the staff volunteer supervisors on their unit, um, and they're working with the volunteer services office as well as with their volunteers. So they're kind of that facilitator that um, helps to make sure that volunteering runs smoothly and that uh, volunteers have, have welcoming and, and good interactions with patients that can ultimately um, improve, improve their stay and help, help staff. Um, yeah, but, so those are competitive placements, right, Grant? They, these are experienced volunteers who um, apply. It's a one-year term, apply, very competitive. We don't even um, interview half of the folks that throw their hat in the ring. We can't even place half the people that we do talk to. Um, so a, a pretty elite bunch. Um, so I didn't, I didn't start out on the student leaderboard, kind of like Jean alluded to there. Um, so I started out volunteering in the neurological specialties inpatient and clinic unit. Um, and I think when I started, I really didn't know too much about the program. Um, and I didn't really know about all the opportunities that are available here. But, you know, 
in kind of my my cluelessness about things, I really enjoyed my first my first interaction with the student leaderboard member that interviewed me and and the mentor that helped me get situated on the unit and feel comfortable in um, how I was going to be helping patients. So I think that kind of brings me to um, another really important leadership opportunity that we have here, which is the mentor program. So the mentors are really the experts on the unit, and they're helping to helping to train new volunteers and really bring feedback and suggestions to the staff volunteer supervisor and to the student leaderboard member about how to how to improve volunteer time on the unit and how to improve patient stays on the unit. Um, so as I kept volunteering in the neurological specialties unit, um, I really wanted to, you know, kind of connect and help help new volunteers as they're going through that process of um, figuring out how to how to volunteer in a in a often very new healthcare environment that they're not used to. Um, so I ended up volunteering there and becoming a mentor. And from being a mentor, I just learned that there's there's so many potential connections that you can have. Um, with staff, with patients, um, as well as with other volunteers. And I really like that connection aspect, um, which often brought me up to the volunteer services office um, where I met Jilma and Jean. Um, and I started volunteering there as well and became a mentor there as well, um, just to try to you know connect with more people, learn more about all the different environments that are available here and, um, and learn more about the program. And I think, yeah, go ahead, Jean. I was just going to say, I think a lot of times when I talk to staff volunteer supervisors um, or student leaderboard members about, you know, the mentor positions are competitive too, right? And, and so we say, okay, who on your unit would you clone, right? Mm -hmm. If you could have more of this, if, if, if you've got somebody that's just knocking it out of the park, right, with interactions with patients and families, those are the folks that, you know, we want to recruit into those mentor roles and to, to help them to model, you know, what does it look like to be a successful volunteer here and how do you enter that care environment? I think everybody's really um, well-intentioned, right, for patient interaction, but having those mentor models are really can be key to success. Yeah, definitely. They're the, the best practice volunteers, the reliable um, experts on the unit as I said. Um, so lots of really great feedback and suggestions from the mentors on how to, how to improve things and um, how to best interact with patients to improve their stay. Um, yeah, I think I, I will say that as I kind of became more familiar with the volunteer services office, um, you know, they're super friendly up there. They always have snacks and everything like that. Um, but you also just learn how many different environments there are in the hospital to serve in. Um, and that really kind of inspired my interest in joining the student leaderboard, um, where you're working directly with a staff volunteer supervisor in a unit to kind of facilitate and manage the volunteers uh, on a day to day basis and help help ensure that the unit is operating as best as it can. Um, and there's lots of opportunities to serve in different units um, and learn about varying varying aspects of healthcare, um, which I just found really interesting. And um, you're serving in those different areas, but at the end of the day, you're still just helping patients and helping staff in, in all those different ways. Um, so I thought that was a really, really interesting aspect of that um, student leaderboard position and of the mentor position where you have the opportunity to you know, serve in different ways that ultimately still benefit patients and staff. It's not all hard work though, is it Grant? <laughs> there's there's fun too. Um, so here is our student leaderboard, um, some of our members of our student leaderboard. So I think another aspect of, of the leadership component here and just being more connected to the program is that you get to, you know, not just connect with more staff, more volunteer, more patients, but also more volunteers um, and really get to know people that you might be in classes with um, that you otherwise might not have had the opportunity to talk with. Um, so lots of really awesome people um, in our mentor program and in our student leaderboard. Um, so here we are at Lama Ween um, pretty recently. Um, so I'm going to forget the, the names of these llamas, Jean. I don't know if you remember. 
No. Well, Alice in Wonderland themed. So my favorite llama <laughs> was Applejack, but he's not in this picture. He did not get featured in this picture. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun to be there. Um, you can see our attempts at costumes. Um, and um, yeah, really just kind of have that that social connection as well. So I think that there's a lot of opportunities that you maybe not, maybe aren't as visible, but lots of opportunities to connect with people um, at the University of Iowa doing really awesome things. And here's us at a picnic um, last spring to summer at the end of at the end of the year. You can see Jean's dog Skeeter um, looking as cute as ever um, in that picture as well. Oh, and Widget's there up in the upper right. <laughs> Oh, I just have to say that's that is one of my um, favorite comments, right? People that are applying to our leadership positions um, are are usually surprised at how much they enjoy the the networking and the connections that that those opportunities afford them. Jonah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to this picture. <laughs> And look here is uh, our, our chairperson representing us, uh, uh, the university wide at homecoming and the homecoming parade. Do my best, do my best princess wave. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think our, our program here is really special um, university wide. It's, I mean, even across the country, it's one of the largest you know, kind of student led programs for, from my student perspective. Um, and there's just so many opportunities to learn um, and really grow into the program where you're also just helping people all the time while you're doing it. So I think it's a really special program and a lot of um, a lot of really great ways to grow, um, whether it's as a mentor or um, on the student leaderboard. Awesome job, Grant. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and it really, you know, that's so, so true. I think it's, it's about taking advantage of the opportunities that are available to you here. And, and Grant's a perfect example of that. In our program across campus, uh, there's just um, so many uh, things that people maybe not are not aware of, but the leadership um, progression here and opportunities are awesome. So this week, uh, next week, I guess, this coming week, uh, pre-registration opens for uh, spring semester volunteering here at the hospital. So if everybody uh, wants to get the word out on the street, if you know people that you think might be good um, additions to the volunteer team here at the hospital, uh, send them our way, send them to the website. Everything's online, right? And and the pre-reg will be up on Monday. Jill, anything you want to add to that? No, it'll be posted at noon on Monday and our website's pretty easy. It's just uihc.org slash volunteers. And that'll give them the full scope of what the onboarding looks like, different placement options for students. So it kind of gives you all the details, including the leadership opportunities that we have. And I really feel like, I mean, word of mouth is the way that our program grows. So um, if you're having a good volunteer experience here, let your let your friends know how, how to get started. Also spend some time on that website. There's information on the mentor application. You'll want to talk to your student leader board member about what the timeline is for your particular unit on that. But the information's on the website on the mentor program. Student leader board applications will be available actually in January, right? When we when we come back. It's a one-year term um, for, for those board placements. Um, yeah, any other details we want to mention today? I think so. I think just stay open to those those new opportunities to learn and, um, and connect with the volunteer program. I certainly made a huge difference in, in my undergraduate experience here, so can't recommend it highly enough. Well, it's been our good fortune to have you on the leadership team, Grant, so happy Friday, everyone, and um, Keep on volunteering. <laughs>